A Splund Tree Expert Company is an American company which specializes in tree pruning and vegetation management for utilities and government agencies. The company also performs utility line construction and maintenance, electrical systems testing, traffic signal and highway lighting construction and maintenance, automated metering infrastructure and home energy management program implementation. Topic History The Esplund Tree Expert Co. was founded in 1928 in Pennsylvania by brothers Griffith, Lester and Carl Esplund, members of a Swedish-American family who combined their educations and experience in arboriculture, electrical engineering and finance. The company specialized in trimming trees around power and telephone lines. It was the first company to specialize in utility line clearance and vegetation management instead of residential services. In 1940, the first issue of the Esplund Tree magazine was issued to Cruz. The magazine is still being published. By this time, the company had expanded from Pennsylvania to the Midwest and the Middle Atlantic states. In 1956, a subsidiary company, Asplund Brush Control Co., was established. In 1990, Asplund acquired New York-based B&J Maintenance Co., Inc., as well as L. Fulcher Electric, which was over five small clearance firms in France which became Asplund's French subsidiary. Also during this year, the company expanded to New Zealand, acquiring Electrix Limited, which changed its name to Electrix Asplund. By 1994 it had become the U.S.'s largest firm in utility clearance and one of the nation's largest privately held companies. <laughs> Hiring of illegal immigrants An investigation by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement found that Esplund hired thousands of illegal immigrants between 2010 and 2014. This came after a prior audit by the agency in 2009 that found the company hired illegal immigrants. While Esplund did dismiss the workers in 2009, many of the same workers were hired again using fraudulent documents. On September 28, 2017 the company pleaded guilty to a federal criminal charge and was ordered to pay a $95 million fine, the largest ever in an immigration case. Three managers including a vice president have pled guilty to felony charges. <laughs> 